Well, I'm pleased to report that by undervolting 150 millivolts, everything remained 24-7, 365 stable. We actually then got a higher boost clock overall because we were reducing temperatures and we were reducing power demands on the board. And this resulted in the uh, GPU then being able to boost on the core to a massive 3420 megahertz. We had the exact same overclocking settings, which you can't emphasize enough, because I was really surprised by this. And we reduced the voltage by minus 150 millivolts, and therefore we got actually more performance than just overclocking alone. When under vaulting, the power draw went down by a couple of watts. Temperature wise, both GPU and hotspot temperature stayed virtually the same. We saw an even higher boost clock of 3420 megahertz, which is a crazy high boost clock on such a car. Now let's look at what overclocking and under vaulting have on our performance graphs. So this was an average increase across all our benchmark suite of 7.9% above stock, which is a, a crazy improvement really in performance. And if you look at some of our benchmarks as well, Time Spy at 4K, for example, uh, Port Royal at 1440p, were coming in at way over 10% above stock, which is very solid. I think this is a great card for the price. So well done to AMD for that.